The Boston Massacre. The Boston Tea Party. The battles of Lexington and Concord. These are the events that come to mind when we think about the American Revolution. But this year in Philadelphia, they're commemorating 250 years since the first Continental Congress by holding the first ever Young People's Continental Congress. I love that I get to be involved in something like this, especially like representing Boston, a place where a lot of men had fought for America's freedom. Foxborough sophomore Savina Tibb, along with history teacher Janie Goodwin, are among the student teacher teams representing each of the 13 colonies at Carpenters Hall, the site of the original colonial convening in 1774. Our modern day John Adams and Samuel Adams, if you will. Mrs. Goodwin handpicked Savina, who was her student last year. When I approached her about it, and this is really what cinched it for me, she was really excited. She was excited to be a part of it, excited for the process. That process includes U.S. history assignments and monthly virtual discussions with other delegates. It is extra work on top of AP and honors classes, student council, theater, tutoring, and volunteering in her community. But all worth it for this 16-year-old who's been into American history since third grade. I think we watched an episode of Liberty Kids and I just fell in love with um, history and American history. So how cool was it to get picked for this program? Then? It was so cool. I ran home, I told my mom, I'm like, can I do this, please, please? That excitement, the hard work, and the extra study hours she's putting in, culminating at the five-day event in Philadelphia, as Savina and others explore the founding of our nation and modern-day issues of democracy and social justice. Something she says is more important for kids her age now than ever before. Knowing what we're doing, knowing what our opinions are, and knowing what's right for America is so important because we're the next generation that's going to be able to make a difference. Savina Tibb and Janie Goodwin, good luck in Philadelphia. You get this. High five. In Foxborough, Antoinette Antonio, WCBB, News Center 5. Yeah, that'll be so interesting. Absolutely. Good luck to her. Yes.